Nothing goes to waste. I still have 5,000 to go and uh, it seems we did a pretty good job on the well. It's almost full. There's a few spots at the edge, but that should do. I set the kettle 90 with the work of the nut here so I could close the center and check it so when I thread it I could go and you know check it I put the first pass and it's right on money. This is the finished project. I end up with very good thread. And this is 718 weld. Now I have to remove this piece over here and hone it inside and put it back together. This is oversized over here, this is only meant to hold inch and a half pipe, but what to do, that's what I have. So I kind of pull the shafts all the way out and pin them on the edges and it worked and I wore this one here and hold it to the center so it doesn't vibrate and the thread be good so it doesn't chatter or anything it's really did good job here is the finished product I polish it and put the new kit in it new packing I polish this one with some fine sandpaper and everything ready to go I have hard time pull it out this one was rusted real bad I think the way the plunger go in water could come in this area and make some rust so it was hard to pull it out I have to tie this on the dozer and pull the rod with the tractor to be able to pull it out 
but I clean it real good I polish it and what I use I use this cylinder uh, polish I put it inside with the drill and some oil and polish it real good now everything should fit very easy I'm ready to put it back together The fuel pump accelerator shaft was wore out so what I did I kind of fix it fill it fill the low spot with the brace and drill it bigger drill it 5 8 and then I made the bushing half inch and 5 8 outside it's gonna go in there and the cutter bin will hold it in place and I had to drill over here on the side so the pushing will go in because there's not enough room from here to go it was playing too much and it missed this spot over here <clears throat> Yeah. 